What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back with another 5v5 war. I think this is going to be our new Friday series, 5v5 Friday and we are at it again guys. I was going to be streaming this war but my internet went to trash tonight so no stream so a lot of you guys don't know what happened here. So far their top guy, their Town Hall 11 has attacked. Uh, he three starred Meg but he only one starred me which kind of sets the table early. If I could three star everything and get a two star on him, I win the war. So what we're going to be doing today is so we're going to be doing our attacks and showing you guys the live action from this war. Uh, and honestly, I'm not going to use the spinner this week. I used the spinner last week. I don't think I'm going to use that every single week. I'm going to be going for the win on this. Their bases don't look too tough. Uh, the bottom two bases, I'm going to try to mass drag with my lowest Town Hall 8. Uh, these ones look pretty draggable. I should be able to get in there pretty well. Uh, the Town Hall 9. Uh, this one, I'm going to scout slash try to hit with my other Town Hall 8. And then we'll clean it up with the Town Hall 9 if needed, which we probably will. Odds are we're not going to go 8v9. And then this base, uh, since the bows are down, I'm going to go with a Gobo Lalo. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. And then on number one, I'm going to get a scout on it. And I feel like I'm going to do a queen walk up this side into a bow witch. But again, we'll talk about all that stuff as it kind of happens. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start getting into some attacks and showing off some of this action. See if we can win this war today, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Make sure you guys subscribe with those notifications on and leave a like on the video because why not, right? So let me go ahead and take a look here. I think we're on, yeah, we're on the lowest Town Hall 8, the Clash Bashing account, and we are ready to go in, guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into the action. We're going to use Mass zap, mass Drags with a Zap Quake. I don't really think we need the Zap Quake on this base, but we're going for the overkill, right? So this base only really has the two air defenses and... Not too really worried about it, uh, because, well, it's a, it's a simple base, let's be honest. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't even know, I should have did the math, I don't even know if I need the Earthquake for that. Okay, we do need the Earthquake, so that'll work out. And then we're just going to bring in our Dragons, and kind of work throughout this base. Make sure we get our corners cleared out. And then we'll work all of our Dragons up the center as they kind of work in here. Get a nice wide funnel. That'll work out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and haste and balloons. Dragon's taking a little bit of damage from that air defense, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and get a rage. Did he not have a clan castle? Maybe he had a ground clan castle. I didn't check that uh, because usually with dragons, you just go in and wreck. You don't really worry about the clan castle as much as the town hall 8, especially on a lower base like this. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my king in up here just to get that army camp taken out. And we're going to wreck right through this one, guys. Easy money, and this is what I said. The low Town Hall 8s were pretty easy. Mostly worried about that Town Hall 11, but with them only one-starring my Town Hall 11, I would guess they could try with one of their Town Hall 9s to get a two-star. But I'm feeling like we should be in a pretty good situation to win this war today. And that's that's always going to be fun. But Mass Drags at Town Hall 8, still effective. Uh, I prefer Hogs, but I think Mass Drags are still really effective, especially against these lower, weaker bases. So... This one's going to work out and get us a nice little triple right here. Can't complain about that, right, guys? Nice triple right off the bat. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the next base and hopefully three-star that one as well. So there we go. First three-star to start. I'm going to go ahead and get more of these guys in here. Wait for the king, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, this base, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to zap quick, drag in here, and go ahead and wreck this base. I forgot to check and see if they have clan castle troops. I should have probably checked that out. We'll definitely check that out a little bit later on. But we're going to go ahead and zap out away from the air sweep. The air sweeper is pushing that way, so we want to bring our dragons in behind that if possible, which is very possible on this base. Get a nice little funnel starting here with the king. Okay, they do have clan castle as balloons, so I guess that's going to work out in our favor. Uh, let's go ahead and get our balloons hasted in over here. Get our dragons working in. I'm going to go ahead and rage right here. Get those balloons raged over to that air defense. And once that other air defense falls, we will be great in a really good situation to go ahead and get this three-star. I'm going to go ahead and put this last dragon over here in the corner, and then everything else will just work right up. So, pretty easy-peasy on this one, guys. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's a low Town Hall 8 base, and sometimes that's what you got to do. You just got to mass drag them. Don't try to get too cute with it. Don't overthink it. Just you mass drag, get the three-star, move on with your day. And this leaves us a lot of options to scout some of the other bases and get some really quality attacks and set us up for the win on this war. Again, we just got to get a two-star on one and three-star everything else, and we pretty much secure the win, which I, I want to win these wars, guys. That's the whole point of doing the 5v5 wars. So hopefully we can win them. All right, 
Let's see if we can get that drag. Okay, nice. That drag goes to the storage. I mean, time's going to be fine. We're going to absolutely wreck right through this. I want to make sure we get to that storage and then get everything pushing up to the north of the base. Easy money, guys. Easy money. And they're watching me. Oh, that's lovely. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the next Town Hall 8. And I'll show off the hit. I'm going to use a Govaho oh, on that baby, lower Town Hall 9. It it's going to be more oh, of a scout, yeah. but might be a quality attack. We'll have to see how things go. So I'll be right back once I switch accounts. All right, guys. On this base, we're actually going to go with a Quad Quake Govaho. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I'm going to try it. And it hopefully will go well. So I'm going to Quad Quake like right in here and see how we can get things going. Here's the army. Uh, we're gonna use four quakes, obviously the quad quake, uh, a few Valkyries, a few wizards in there, and we'll see how everything gets handled. Uh, hopefully, we can get that queen out, get the clan castle out. A little bit worried about the clan castle, to be honest, but I think we should be okay handling them on the fly. Uh, so we're gonna bring in a uh, quake, like right about here. Bring in our golem over here, and then see if we can get the wizards into the core of the base with everything else. So I'm just gonna get at it. Um, I'm not sure how this one's going to attack. This is more of a scout on the base, and then we'll kind of go from there with the Town Hall 9 account. So let's go ahead, start off with our Quad Quake. Bam, Quad Quake right up there. Get that all opened up. Get our Golem going in. Golem's going to get some nice attention there, which is lovely. Get Wall Breakers going in. Get our King going. Oh, it's a Lava Hound, so honestly... That is actually beneficial to us that it's a Lava Hound in there uh, for the Govaho. So let's go ahead and get those gals going right up the center. Uh, now we do only have like level 1 Valks on this. I'm going to heal them up just to work them around. And that's going to be great. Take out both heroes. And then we're going to work around. Bring in our Max Hogs out of the Clan Castle. Bring in a few more Hogs here. And hopefully stay right away from everything. Now we only have one heal left since I did heal the Valkyries, but that's okay. Not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and heal right there. Like I said, this is more of a, probably a scout attack. But we did learn a ton about the base. We learned giant bomb spots. We learned Tesla spots. And we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be able to wreck this base nice and easy, honestly. Uh, especially with having a Lava Hound in the clan castle. No reason we shouldn't be able to wreck this base. So that's a good scout. Don't care that we didn't get a star on it. Let's go ahead and hop out of here. I'm going to hop over to a Town Hall 9 account. I'm going to go ahead and scout again with this account. Uh, scout the other Town Hall 9. And then we'll go ahead and move and get ready to attack again with the other Town Hall All 9. All right, guys. On this base, we're going to try to gobo lalo it. We're going to come in over on this side over here. There's a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. Not too big of a deal. Uh, we should be fine. We're going to come in this side with our two Golems. Wallbreaker in and then jump right through here. And then... Our kill squad should be able to wreck right through here, and then we'll bring our balloons kind of around this side over here. And hopefully things go well. Actually, we might come around this bottom side. We'll see, kind of see where the kill squad paths more. Uh, if this archer tower is still up. I think I want to come from this bottom side. So that's what we'll do there. Let's see how it goes. Here's the army, guys. If you guys don't know my Gobo Lalo army, this is the army I'm using all the time for Gobo Lalo. So let's go ahead and get at it, guys. Hopefully we can get this nice little three star. The next attack we're going to do is going to be a little bit of a throwback attack. Attack I haven't done in quite a while. Nice uh, hidden wizard tower right there, bud. Now let's go ahead and wall break in. We'll get our king. Let's get our other wizard down there. Get our king in here, queen in here. Uh, then we'll go ahead and get this jump right through here. Oh no, bowlers are walking a little bit. This should be okay, honestly. We we have higher heroes than this guy. The main concern is going to be that Lava Hound, but if it's in the core, we're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and get in there. Lava Hound's working in. I should have probably waited to poison. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring in our Lalo phase right here. Right through this bottom portion here. I'll save the heal for the balloons if needed which it might be needed with us popping that hound right through there. All right, so let's go ahead and heal these balloons right through here. Get that all working. We might miss this one, guys, honestly. I might miss it here. Oh, that's a rough life. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, things are looking a little bit dicey. 
a little bit dicey. We're looking okay. We got that one pup still taking out our troops. Let's uh, check the corners. Put in archers down here. We got a few balloons up, but that pup, man, that pup is just ruining my life right now. I don't know if we're going to have enough time on the cleanup. Hmm. We cleared the base. I just don't know if we're going to have enough time to clean it up. Especially with that lava pup ruining my balloon's life up there. It's not doing a ton, but it's doing enough. All right, let's see. We got archers. We got a minute five. Ugh. It's going to be sketchy, guys. Definitely going to be sketchy. We may have to come back and hit this again. And not try to get that lava hound out, which I have an idea for. I can't believe I just struggled so much with this base. Can we get that lava pup taken care of, someone? All right, there we go. Lava pup goes down. We're not going to have enough time on it. Oh. Okay, so Lava Hound, I needed to poison, and I poisoned way too early. I needed to poison the Lava Hound. So 33 seconds. We just don't have enough to clear the base, so that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and exit there. We know what we need to know about the base. I gotta be a little bit better. I gotta get the funnel a little bit set better. For our next attack on number three, since he does have a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, we're gonna do something fun that I haven't done in a while. We're going to do a Queen Pop Lalo, guys. We'll talk about that once the army is ready. All right, guys, we're going to use an attack strategy I haven't used in a long time, made famous by my friend Cast and Blast. We're going to be using Queen Pop Laloon. It's basically a quad Lalo. Quad meaning four uh, Lava Hounds and then a balloon phase behind that. We're also going to be Zap Quaking. We're going to Zap Quake out this air defense right here, bring in our Lava Hound right over here to get that Queen's attention. As that Queen starts to pop our max Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, we're going to rage it up so that those pups can take out that queen, and then bring our the rest of our uh, balloons and hounds around the base. I am a little bit concerned about the sweeper location, but it should be fine. Uh, we know that he has a lava hound in the clan castle, so clan castle is not going to come out, so we don't even have to worry about pulling it. So, that's a battle plan, guys. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I haven't done a queen pop in a long time, but we're going to give it a shot. For, I, why not, right? Uh, my, my point of these wars is to show when it goes well, and when it goes bad. If I have a bad war, I want you guys to see that. Maybe you can learn a little bit. Maybe we could talk about what I did wrong. That last attack, we were really close, and I, I should have got there, but I made a few mental errors, mostly the poison spell. So let's go ahead, and we'll start off with the zap quake. So we're going to zap off this air defense here. And then, what I'm going to do is we're just going to go ahead and... To create a little bit of a funnel, actually, that's going to go right into the sweeper. I'm going to put a couple balloons in there, just to create a little bit of a funnel for the balloons. All right, that should work out pretty well. And perfect. Okay, great. So we're going to bring in our max hound right here. Bring in a few balloons in behind. We want that queen to get drawn on which she is really nicely there. So we'll go ahead and hit that rage right through there. We'll bring in a few more balloons right through there. And then I did rush through all of my balloons a little bit fast. And also we didn't pop the queen. Oh no, we didn't pop the queen. The queen went to those balloons over there. So the queen's still going to be standing. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, Maybe she'll get dunked on right there. All right, queen goes down. And the most sloppy way possible. Uh, we'll take it though, right? Uh, sure. Uh, we need a little bit of a split here. I really don't want a lava hound coming out of the clan castle. Let's go ahead and get. Oh, this is a sloppy queen pop, guys. This is an attack like I haven't used in so long, and you should be able to tell that I haven't used it just by how ugly this attack is. Uh, so let's go ahead and put our king in there. Got yeah, archers in over here. Uh, we got we got pups all throughout the base, so that's good. Maybe that last hound will pop. I'm going to go ahead and put in our queen over here just to help out. So we're going to get the three star, but it was really ugly and sloppy. Uh, not the way queen pop is supposed to work, if you know anything about queen pop. But luckily this base was low enough that we could get, just kind of overwhelm it with the Lalo. So once that clan castle goes down, we're going to be in a really good situation here. So we're going to go ahead... Actually, we don't really need to do much. Just let everything work out here. Hit the king and queen, because why not? And we'll go ahead and get that three-star on the ugliest queen pop I've done ever. But that's a strategy I haven't used in a while, and I need to practice. I thought it would be fun for the video. 
And I thought I could get it to work a little bit better, but I think my rage was just a little bit early. I think I need to let that Lava Hound get a little bit lower. But a three stars, a three star nonetheless. We're going to move on to our last Town Hall 9 account. Try to clear that other Town Hall 9. Actually, yeah, try to clear that other Town Hall 9, and then we'll move on to our Town Hall 11 attacks. All right, guys, we're going to try to Queen Pop this base. Uh, I wanted to just kind of work on the Queen Pop, and we know there's a Lava Hound in here. And also, we get extra spell slots, so we should be able to get this one. So we're going to go with this army. I'm also going to bring a skeleton for the queen uh, just to make sure she gets taken down. So let's go ahead and get at it, guys. This one should work out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and zap out up here. Both bows are set to ground, so we shouldn't have any problems there. I am going to send in like three loons here with a haste just to clear out this side just a little bit. And then we'll kind of go from there. That's uh, perfect from those loons right there. We also pull up the Teslas, which is going to help out. So let's go ahead and send in our Max Hound first. Get that going in. Get in all these guys. Once that queen steps up, we're going to go ahead, throw the skelly on her. That hound's going to pop also. Oh, the hound, I think, got caught by... Oh, no, I think the hound got caught by the wizard tower. So let's go ahead and get those guys working in. Get that all working in. Queen is still standing. Oh, that's fantastic. Our queen pops are not popping. That's fun. That's good stuff right there, guys. Oh, rough life. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys working through here. <laughs> and that queen is just still up. Not that huge of a deal because, I mean, we should be able to get through the base no matter what. There goes the queen going down eventually. Not how this attack is supposed to run, but it's going to work out for us. Uh, sloppy attacks. We'll take it, though. We'll take it because... We're going to get the three star no matter what. So let's go ahead and throw in our king down here. I want that clan castle to fall. We got plenty of time on the cleanup. We got balloons up top. We should be pretty good here, honestly, guys. The ugly, ugly attack. Oh, man. These old bases should be able to queen pop. I just need to work on this attack. I haven't used this strategy in a while. And I did not really get a pop over the queen on either of them. So we're going to wait. Let that clan castle fall. Actually, we'll go ahead and throw our queen in. Clan castle goes down. And we're going to three star. So all we have left is the town hall 11, which I already scouted out with this account. We just did a queen walk into some hogs. Nothing in the clan castle. Uh, apparently, his clan mates did not fill up his clan castle. So that's always going to be rough for them. And all we got to do is beat that one star. And we win the war. So hopefully we can get there. Uh, so a nice little three star there. Sloppy attack. But we're going to go ahead and get ready to attack number one. Like you guys see there, we get the scout. So I'll be back really soon with Big Rocky. All right, guys, we're going to hit this base right here. Like I said, he has no clan castle. I'm going to use a Gobo Wii. I'm going to put a couple healers on the witches up top here. And then we're just going to jump right in, jump in, and just hopefully wreck the base. We got to beat a one star 58%, I think, to secure the win. So let's just go for it. Here's the army. Pretty straightforward, honestly. Feeling pretty good about it. So let's go ahead and hit it, guys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go like two witches over here. One, two, three there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then a couple healers there. I'm going to go ahead and max, or not even max golem, just golem right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the jump in here, jump in here. The king, queen, warden. Get all those guys in. And that's looking pretty good. We got a pretty good line where we need to go here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the warden's ability nice and early. Hopefully we get a nice little jump towards the center. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, we'll rage right there. And did not poison that enemy queen. Enemy king's right there. Oh, things are looking a little bit sketchy here, guys. But our queen is right there towards the town. Our king's going into the center. Alright, it's getting a little bit better. Not having a clan castle on this one helped out quite a bit. We're going to get the one star secured. We're going to get the two star right here with the queen. And this should help us secure the war pretty well, honestly. Uh, we got those witches and bowlers and stuff going around the outside. Still got our queen up. I'm going to go ahead and pop her ability on the expo. The mortar. <laughs> All that's going down. That's lovely. We've got to get that arch or the inferno tower down. And we might actually have a small triple shot here. We'll see how it goes. Queen's doing work here. we still got tons of stuff around the outside. We can get some of that splash damage down. That'll be great. It's going to be close, guys. Uh, I don't think we're going to quite get to the three star. Warden's really low on health. 
That's one bowler, though. That's Super Bowler over there. Doing a little bit of work. <laughs> but, I mean, that's still going to be a really high attack. I honestly, I was nervous about hitting this ring base. I don't always do that well against ring bases, so I was kind of nervous about it, but it worked out pretty well. Oh, why are those guys going outside? All right. Warden's helping out. We actually have time. If we can get there, we have time. I like that the healers came all the way over to help out the warden. Oh, that was nice of them. Uh, okay. Warden, get that wizard tower down. If that wizard tower goes down. I think we have it, or we're going to be close at least. We got 47 seconds. Are we about to run a perfect war? I think we're about to get our first perfect 5v5 war, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, such a sketchy attack, but it's going to work out for us. Can't argue with that. 30 seconds left. Oh, yeah. That's nice, guys. There we go. We get a perfect 5v5 war. Love it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good feeling. Nice 11v11 triple to finish. The healers on the top helped out quite a bit. And there we go. We get to 15. And they got a lot of work ahead of them. So we'll tune in tomorrow when this war ends. Hopefully you guys are pumped up for this finish. Guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be back really soon with the end of the war. All right, guys. So after I went perfect, these guys didn't attack again. Uh, the score is still 15 to 4. So we got the perfect war win. Uh, my first perfect war on the 5v5 is pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty happy about that. Next week's war, we're going to use that random spinner, and it's going to be a good time. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so with those notifications. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.